just a good old boy. Made some changes to the truck and <clears throat> got a roll cage on it. Mounted the ESC inside. Put some lighter springs in it. The cage is made out of bent welding electrodes and then uh, basically plumber solder and flux and then uh, solder together. I used my Hacko soldering iron. Um, not the best way to do it, but it worked. It's actually pretty strong. So for the cage, I ground a hole on each side for this to go into and a huge hole in the bed and just a little tension fit in there and the c14 spare tire carrier slots on there and then a rubber band goes around these things to keep it in place so the truck did really well today but i realized that i'm afraid to drive it in case it breaks because if uh, it keeps breaking like this i'm not going to fix it again i'm just getting kind of fed up with it so I've been looking at other trucks, uh, pretty much between the WL Toys 12428, the WL Toys uh, 959, and uh, an Axial Yeti Jr. Um, I've also been thinking about maybe just getting an Axial Yeti, but I think they're just too big, and it seems like parts can be very, very expensive. I've seen $100 shocks, $100 axle housings, and uh, it just seems like too much. So it sucks to have gone through all this. I think I spent 400 bucks on this thing, and it's still a piece of shit. I'm slowly figuring out where the problem areas are, but there's certain issues that just, I don't know. You Loctite a grub screw down and then it pops out the very next day. And if the blue Loctite is not enough, then you use red Loctite. But I think red Loctite would be too much and I don't have to like heat bolts out every time you need to undo something. So I'm really just kind of in a pickle and over it. So if you guys have any opinions on those trucks that I mentioned, let me know. Uh, I'll probably be buying one within the next week. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.